chat box and we will get started. So ironically, I have better Wi-Fi here than I do at my house in New York, which is <laughs> kind of crazy. So close your eyes, bring your hands to your knees, let your shoulders soften. And just begin to connect into the breath, inhaling and exhaling through the nose, creating that hissing sound in the throat. So last week I had um, something go not the way I wanted it to go with a program that I'm planning to start in, in February. And I got so incredibly angry. And I really got so angry that I had to stop and ask myself, why am I so angry about this? It felt like my reaction was an overreaction to the situation that I was in. So I started to explore this concept of the why, the wonderment of the why. So with your eyes closed, inhale, reach your arms all the way up and over your head. Let's just interlace the fingers and press the palms up and soften the shoulders, draw the navel back to the spine. And lift a little bit higher here. Good. Two more breaths. And then as you exhale, on interlace your hands. Bring the left hand to your right knee. Walk your right hand behind you and look over your right shoulder. So come all the way back into a twist. As you inhale, gaze forward, float the right arm up, bring it over the ear. So we're gonna tip away from the left and over, sorry, away from the right and over towards the left and look up. And then you're gonna set your right hand to your left knee. Good, so we'll cross up the elbows and just round here, maybe even tuck your head in here and really round through the back. As you inhale, gaze forward, we're gonna cross with the elbows, interlace, so left fingertips come towards right palm, so we're finding our eagle arm. And then inhale, draw your gaze all the way up, and exhale, we're gonna round, draw the belly in. So I started to think about, you know, when we were in school and we learned like the questions for investigative reporting, the so what, why, where, how, when, right? So I started to deploy my little investigative reporting techniques and now that I learned like in eighth grade to this situation. And it was just another way to be mindful, right? Inhale, arms up. And exhale, we're gonna round, curl. Good, let's on interlace the arms, bring them up and over the head, thread the fingers the opposite way, turn the palms up, soften the shoulders, lift the chest. Good, pressing through the tops of the hands. And then let that right hand float over to the left knee. Let the left hand come behind. Walk your gaze over that back shoulder. So we have this opportunity and we practice it here on the mat all the time because we're, we get in touch with what's happening in the body. And we ask ourselves those questions. We figure out why, and then we figure out how to let go of whatever we're holding on to. So it's sort of the same process off the mat. Inhale, left arm reaches up and over the ear. So I realized that my anger in the situation, and the situation doesn't really matter, it was sort of a catalyst for my experience, but what really I was having a reaction of was fear. And fear oftentimes, so bring the left hand to the right knee and we're gonna round to your fear so often is the root, is the wonderment of the why. Why am I reacting the way I'm reacting? Well, I'm afraid. I'm afraid of missing an opportunity to do something. I'm afraid of doing something. I'm afraid of not doing something, right? Cross the elbows, so the opposite elbows on top. We have our eagle arms. Inhale, draw the gaze up. Exhale, we're gonna curl and round. And again, inhale. And exhale. Good. Two more, inhale, draw the gaze up, look up. Exhale, round. 
And last one, inhale, gaze all the way up. And that's how we're gonna round. On that the arm. And we're gonna walk them behind us. Turn the fingertips forward, so it might be hard for you to see that. And we're gonna press up into a table pop. So ground into the feet, inhale, lift the hips, let the head maybe drop back if your neck feels okay. And then exhale, lower the hips down and lift the legs and reach the arms forward. So we're coming into Navasana. Good. If you need to keep the knees bent, if you need to hold on to the knees, all good. Breathing here. Two more breaths. As you exhale, set the feet down, bring the hands behind you. Inhale, we're gonna lift up back into our tabletop. Head can hang back if you want. Exhale, we're gonna lower the hips, come right up into our Navasana. So earlier in the week, maybe knees are bent. We work a lot on the obliques, but today we're working more on the rectus abdominis and the hip flexors. So that being said, we're gonna lower slowly into a half. Navasana, and then inhale right back up. And again, exhale, lower it down if you can. Inhale, bring it right back up. Last one, exhale, lower. Inhale, bring it back up. Set the feet down, set the hands down. Lift the hips, let the head drop back one last time. And then exhale, lower everything down. We'll cross at the ankles and come onto your hands and knees. So just a couple cat cows, arching and rounding the spine, breathing here, doing whatever feels good for you. So whatever it is that works for you, do that. Good. And on your next inhale, it's just fine. And as you exhale, round, curl the toes under, press back to downward dog. So first downward dog of the day, pedal it out. And do a little bit of investigating, investigating, right? So why am I here on the mat today? The wonderment of the why. Why am I here on the mat? What's happening in the body that I need to know about? Where is the mind? Because right? sometimes when we have things happen, are we really in the present or are we working more from a place of the past? Is it bringing up a previous reaction that we, from something that happened long ago, right? Inhale from here, we're going to lift the right leg and bring it nice and high. As you exhale, so here we are working that abdominals again. Right knee comes all the way to the nose and we're going to hold the knee towards the nose. So investigative reporting, if we're pushed outside of our comfort zone, why is, it, why is it outside of our comfort zone? What is the cause here? Step the right foot in between the hands, drop the left knee. As you inhale, can we float the arms all the way up, settling into the Anjaneyasana. So grounding into the right foot, gazing up, softening the shoulders. Good, and then right forearm comes to right thigh. Left arm's gonna tip over. So again, we're finding a side bend, st stretching through that side body. Maybe the right fingertips wanna come to the floor if you're looking for more. But if you're taking yourself to more, ask yourself why. That's the wonderment of the why. Is it because it's what I need today or is it something else? Is it my ego driving me or is it a real service to my body? Right arm comes up, we're gonna make ourselves into ego arms. So left arm, on top of right, let's find the ego arm. As you inhale, look all the way up. As you exhale, we're gonna curl and round. So this is a crunch. Draw the belly in. Inhale, lift all the way up. Exhale, we're gonna curl and round. Inhale, look all the way up. Exhale, we're gonna curl and round. Unwrap the arms, set the hands down. Lift the left knee, float the right leg all the way up. Let's bend the knee and shake out the hip. Opening that hip up a little bit. And then step the right foot down. We'll do the same thing with the left. So left leg's gonna lift, bend the knee. We're gonna round forward. That knee comes to the nose. We're holding it here. We're really holding it nice and strong. Creating that crunch, and then step the left foot in between the hands, drop the right knee to the mat. 
Inhale brings us all the way up. Let's find our Anjane Asana, softening into the left knee, lifting the heart. And then left forearm comes to left thigh and right arm comes all the way over. So we're coming into that side bend, gazing up, reaching that right arm up and over. If you're looking for more, set the left fingertips down outside the foot, deeper stretch here. And then inhale, come on up, arms out in a T, left arm underneath right this time. And we'll do those crunches. So lift the chest, we're extending the back and then exhale down, we're flat. Good, two more. Inhale. And exhale, good job you guys. Inhale it up. Exhale, curl in round. Last one, inhale, look all the way up. And exhale as you round, unwrap the hands. Curl your right toes under, lift your right knee, set your left leg all the way up. Let's bend the knee, let's shake it out. Shake out the hip. As you set that left, hip, left foot down, we're in our downward dog. Shake out the head, five breaths here. So what do you need for those five breaths? The wonderment of the why. If you feel like you're gutting through, why am I doing that to myself? If you feel like you need a break and you're not taking it, ask yourself why. What is really happening? And then slowly start to walk the feet towards the hands to the top of your mat. Maybe a little bend in the knees, and find your forward fold. Good. And then slowly, slowly, slowly begin to roll your way up to standing and bring your hands to your heart and close your eyes. So set your intention for your practice. Maybe there's something off the mat that you can apply this investigative reporting to. Who, who are the real players? Is it you in the present or is it some past version of you? Some fear, there's some high school version of you, whatever it is. What, what is really going on? Where, what state of mind are you in? And when, is this a really a present, something happening in the present or again, is it your past action? And then the magic, the wonderment of the why, and the how is how do we change for the future? How do we make a different choice? So begin to open your eyes, bring your arms around and up, inhale. And as you exhale forward, fold. Inhale, we're gonna find our flat back here. As you exhale, you're gonna step back to your plank and lower through chaturanga. If you want your knees, add them, bring them down. Eight, why not, is the question. Downward dog, five breaths, up from the shoulders, push the heels towards the mat, spread through each fingertip, and breathe. Good. Good job. Good. As you inhale, come high on the toes. As you exhale, bend your knees, half step or float the feet to the hands. Inhale, we're gonna find our flat back here. And exhale, we're gonna forward fold, let the head go. Beautiful, good stuff, nice, Paul. Inhale, bring the arms all the way around and up. And exhale, bring your hands to your heart, close your eyes for a moment. Inhale, bring the arms around and up. So namaskar A again. Exhale, we're gonna forward fold. Inhale, we're gonna find our flat back, lengthen. Exhale, we're gonna step our way all the way through to Chaturanga. Inhale, we're gonna lift the chest. Exhale, we're gonna find our way back, downward dog. Breathing here. Good. On your next inhale, we're rolling forward to plank. So you can do this in plank or you can drop your knees, it's up to you. But we're adding a little bit more abdominal work here. So as you inhale, you're gonna to try to bring your left hand to your right shoulder. Exhale, left hand down. Inhale, left or right hand to left shoulder. 
exhale down. Inhale, opposite hand to shoulder. Exhale down. Inhale, opposite hand to shoulder. Exhale down. Good. If you want a vinyasa, go for it. If you've had enough, you're going to meet us in downward dog. Good. Pressing out through those heels and breathe. Good. On your next inhale, high on the toes. As you exhale, bend your knees, hop, step, or float the feet and the hands. Inhale, we're going to find a flat back. And exhale, we're going to forward fold. Inhale, sit into your chair. So find your roots to toss in the ground, back into the heels, lift the arms, soften the shoulders. And as you exhale forward, fold at the head go. Inhale, we're finding our flat back. Exhale is going to step us all the way through our planks to Chaturanga. Inhale, we're going to find our high cobra, so lift here. And exhale is going to roll us back down or down. Right leg is going to lift nice and high. As you exhale, bend the knee, draw it to the nose. We're going to round forward, but this time step the foot towards the right hand and plant the back foot down. Inhale, let's reach the arms all the way up, warrior one. Wrapping the left hip and torso forward and then softening into the right knee, pressing into the outer edge of the back foot. As you exhale, we're gonna to come to warrior two. So sorry if you guys can hear that lawn being cut behind me, but I don't have any control over that. <laughs> reach the right arm forward, left arm back. Turn your palms up and reverse the warrior. So as you bend into the left, into the right knee, we're gonna come back and we're gonna find our side angle. So right forearm down, left arm up. And if you're ready, you're gonna let that arm float all the way over the ear. Good. So let the shoulder relax, that left arm over the ear, good. Nice job, guys. As you exhale, left hand's gonna come down, right arm's gonna reach up, find your twist. So do whatever you wanna do here. If you feel like straightening and bending the right knee, go ahead. If you feel like coming to the pinky toe edge of that front foot and letting the right arm reach back, go ahead. Do whatever feels good for you here. This is our investigation. This is what we do every time we get on the mat. We investigate. It's our little investigative report into our bodies. Plant the right foot back if it's off. Bring the hand down. We're gonna meet in downward dog. So you decide how you get there, if this is of service to you. Pressing the heels back down, softening the shoulders. We're gonna find that second side. So ground the right foot, step the left foot forward, warrior one, inhale. As you do, wrap the right hip forward, bend into the left knee, lift the arms up, soften the shoulders. Good. As you exhale, we're going to find warrior two. So bend the left knee, reach the arms forward and back. Inhale, turn those palms up. Let's reverse it. So don't forget about the left knee as you reach the arm back. And then bring the left forearm to the left side, right arms up. And we're going to float it over the ear here. So look all the way up to the sky. Bend into the left knee, press into the outer edge of the back foot. Breathe here. Good. Nice, Francine. Beautiful. Good, Bridget. Okay, right hand's going to come down inside the left foot. Left arm's going to come up or in our twist. So you decide what that is for you. If you want to bend and straighten the left knee, if you want to open the left knee out to the side and come to the pinky towards the foot, anything goes. This is your investigation. Why am I on my mat today? Where is my mind? Am I present? Those are the questions we get to ask ourselves. And we know what we practice here comes with us off the mat. He's walking by, so he might be done soon. <laughs> Let's see. As you exhale, bring both hands down. And as you inhale, make your way through a vinyasa if you want. 
So we're gonna meet in downward dog. So when you're ready, find your way to downward dog. Breathe here. Good. All right. Warrior one, first side again. So plant the left foot, step the right foot forward. We're gonna do warrior one. This time, eagle arms. So bring the arms out like airplane wings. And we're gonna wrap the left arm underneath the right. So find your eagle arms, right arm on top. Good. Inhale, lift the chest, look up. Exhale, we're gonna curl it around. And again, inhale, lift all the way up. And exhale, we're gonna round. Good, two more. Inhale, lift all the way up. Exhale, we're gonna round. So this is really a crunch through the abdominals. Last one, inhale. And exhale. This time as you come up, we're gonna keep the eagle arms but be in a warrior two. So just walk your right heel in line with your back foot. And then straighten the front leg and parallel the feet. So we're setting up for prajarita. Inhale, look all the way up. As you exhale, we're gonna fold. Good. And imagine that you're rounding through the upper back and you're drawing the belly in. So even here, we're adding in abdominals. Unwrap the arms now. Let's walk them ahead of us. Like you're in a wide-legged downward dog. Press into the palms, soften the shoulders. And breathe here. And walk the hands back. We're gonna walk forward on the mat, just like we were. Left hand down, right arm up. But we're gonna add a side plank if you want it. I'm just gonna switch my position actually. So if you want side plank, but you wanna add in a little more abdominals, that right arm's gonna reach up and it's gonna wrap underneath. Inhale it up, exhale, wrap it down. It's up to you, right? You can make this less for yourself do your own investigative reporting on your mat. The more we practice this here, the more able we're do, able to do it out there. Right hand comes down, you decide from here, we're gonna meet in downward dog. So if you want your vinyasa, go for it. If you don't, all good. And we're gonna plant the right foot now and step the left foot forward. Warrior one as you inhale. Arms are out like airplane wings. Left arm on top as we come into eagle arms. Let's do the rounding. So first we extend and then we flex and round the spine. Inhale, just extra focus on the abdominals this week. Right, so squeeze in through the belly as you round. The stronger your core is, the more protected your spine is. And one more, inhale. One more exhale. You inhale, come on up, keep the arms wrapped. We're gonna be in a warrior two, okay? Inhale, straighten the left leg, parallel the feet. Look all the way up. And then exhale, we're gonna hinge and fold. Good. Again, pressing through the upper back, even here, navel to spine. And then unwrap the arms. And this time we're gonna walk them behind us. So turn the fingertips behind you. Adding into those glutes and hamstrings a little bit. Good, and then come on back. We're gonna walk forward towards the left foot. So left foot turns forward. Right hand stays down, left arm reaches up to the sky, and then you decide from here. If you're gonna do your side plank, come to the pinky toe edge of the right foot, stack the left. You wanna add the abdominals in, but this is your own journey, your own investigation, right? So you decide, ask yourself why. The wonderment of the why. When we ask ourselves why, when we have that opportunity for mindfulness, we might 
choose a different path. The how becomes clear, right? The how is, how can I turn this situation into what I need it to be? How do I make this of service to me? We're gonna meet in downward dog. Take five breaths here. So if you want a child's pose, go for it. I don't know about you guys, but I'm sweating. So five breaths. Take a drink of water if you want, whatever you need. Two more breaths. And then make your way back to downward dog if you can when you're ready. And come inhale, come high on the toes. And as you exhale, bend your knees, hop, step, or float the feet to the hands. Inhale, we're going to find our flat back. Exhale, we're going to forward fold. Inhale, let's sit back into our Uttatasana. And bring the hands to the heart and we're gonna twist. So left elbow comes outside, right knee, let's twist, look up to the sky. And then inhale, arms reach up and exhale, let's twist the other way, right elbow outside, left knee, look up. So if you bring out the spine, we might, might notice tightness, things we're holding on to. Ask yourself why, ask yourself how to let that go. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, once again, we're going to forward fold. Inhale, lengthen. You decide how you get back to downward dog. So you ask yourself, what is going to serve me? Right? When I'm present in the moment, then I have this opportunity to explore the wonderment of the why. Make your way back to downward dog, however you want. Right leg is going to lift. Draw the knee forward. So we're taking that extra moment here, knee to the nose, finding that abdominal strength, and then set the foot in between the hands. This time we're coming all the way up. So high crescent warrior. Soften through the shoulder. Good. Then we're going to hinge forward to this long 45 degree line. So feel free to stay here if you want, but we are going to flow through a warrior three. So if you want to lift the left leg, flex the foot, reach the arms forward. And we're meeting an Arda Chandrasana. So if you want to come through standing split, go ahead. If you can bring the right hand down, open through the right shoulder first, then the hip. Sorry, left shoulder, bend the hips, let that left arm reach up. Finding Arda Tanjasana. Good job. Everybody looks really good. Nice. Okay, top hand's gonna come down, so we're gonna find our standing split. Let the head relax, Steph, just relax your neck. Good. Breathe here. Apparently they take their leads very seriously in Costa Rica. <laughs> He's been blowing them for a long time. <laughs> Breathe here. Okay, so we're going to meet in Parsvotanasana. So this left leg is going to step behind. We're going to fold. Anybody feels like handstand switches? This is an abdominal exercise as much as it is anything else. It's actually hip flexor. So as you plant the hands, as you float one leg up, the other leg comes down, right? Don't worry. Don't get committed to getting up. Just use this opportunity to spring through the legs, right? So end up on your right leg and step the left foot behind you if you're not there already and fold. Ooh, getting into the right hamstrings and glutes. Shaking out the head. Pressing into the left heel. Good. 
good. And we're going to step the back foot up to meet the front and come right back into our chair. So settle back into Utkatasana. And we're going to twist again. So hands to the heart, left elbow outside, right knee. This time, if you want to separate the hands, feel free to try that. Maybe you're going to bend this right arm and wrap it behind you just to get a little deeper into the shoulder. Up to you. A few more breaths here. Good. Inhale back to Utkatasana. We'll do the other side. Hands to the heart. We'll twist. Right elbow. Outside left knee. If you're looking for the more, you're separating the arms. If you are, just explore the Y here. Bend the left arm. Let that left shoulder open up to the sky. Breathe here. And then as you exhale, we're going to forward fold. Just feel till your feet out, hip distance. Grab your big toes. We'll take a forward fold here. Shake out the head. Before we do that second side, getting a little deeper into the back of the leg, but don't sacrifice the spine. Right? Sometimes we let our ego get the best of us, and that's where the why can come into play. Good. All right, get right back into your chair, reach the top and then inhale. And then exhale, we're gonna forward fold. Inhale, we'll find that flat back and you decide how you get back to downward dog, right? Up to you. So you decide. Good, left leg is gonna lift once you're there. Knee is going to come towards your nose. We're going to round all the way forward. Knee to the nose. Hold it there for one extra second. And then step the foot in between the hands. Squeeze your inner thighs towards each other and lift navel to spine. Right buttocks engaged. Arms reach up. Shoulders lower. Good. So this strength here comes from the abdominals. The legs are working, but this belly drawing back is a critical piece of this. And then we're gonna start to hinge forward. So find that diagonal. And then right, when you're ready, if you're ready, start to lift the back leg up into our warrior three. So we're meeting in half moon. You decide if you're gonna move through a standing foot to get there where you want to go right there. Beautiful, Francine. Start with the shoulder, then the hip lifts a little bit more, maybe the leg. Good arm. Thanks, Bridget. And then that top hand is going to come down. We're in standing foot. Beautiful, Kim. We'll be in our standing foot. And then we play with the handstand hops on the first side. So you decide if you want that again. You did both when you do the switches, so you don't have to do them on both sides. But we're meeting in that triangle forward bend. So you decide what is right for you. The wonderment of the why. Why am I going to do this? Is it of service to me? Am I present in the body and the mind? Am I connected into what really is going on? That's what we do when we're here on the mat. We become that much more connected to what is really going on. Good, and we're gonna step that back foot up to meet the front and let's find another forward bend. So slide your hands all the way underneath your feet, maybe. Do you need to bend in the knees? Take it. You decide. Good. 
And then release the hands from underneath your feet and slowly, slowly roll all the way up. Good. Okay. Sitting in your chair at the top of your mat. So inhale, bend the knees, lift the chest. Exhale, we're gonna forward fold. Inhale, high cool, or sorry, flat back. Exhale, we're gonna move through vinyasa or meet up, meet in downward dog. So up to you if you feel like skipping this one. I do, so I'm going to, right? Why am I gonna do that extra vinyasa? It's not of service to me. So lift the right leg nice and high. Exhale, we're gonna bend the knee, round it toward the, no toward the nose. That's extra focus on the rectus abdominis today. And then step the foot in between the hands. Inhale, we're coming all the way up. Exhale, arms out like airplane wings. Right arm on top of left. So we've been doing right arm on top with the right leg forward. We're continuing that. Good. And then we're gonna hinge forward like we just did, but this time the left leg is gonna lift and it's gonna come and wrap around the right leg. We're coming into our eagle. Squeeze here. If that left foot tucks behind the calf, great. If it doesn't, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. From here, if you want to, you're gonna hinge forward, maybe hook the elbows over the knees, but squeeze and roll those in our thighs towards each other. And then we are gonna take the left toes and tap them to the floor, unwrap the arms. We're coming into a seated twist. So left leg is over, right. Good, we're gonna twist here. The so right hand comes to the knee, or elbow to the knee, left arm comes behind. Inhale, nice and tall. Exhale, twist, look over the back shoulder. Again, inhale, lengthen here. And exhale, twist. Good, one more, inhale. And one more, exhale. Bring the gaze back forward. Unwrap the arms, coming into our Navasana. Again, here we are, boat pose. So when we're here, we're actually working hip flexors even more than the rectus abdominis. So stay here if you want to straighten the legs, go ahead. But if you want to add in Arda, so coming back, that's going to be more this central core. Inhale it up, exhale it back. Inhale up, good, exhale back. You got one more in you, go for it, inhale, exhale. Let's cross the ankles, hands come forward. We're gonna come back to a forward fold, sorry, right ankles in front of left. I didn't tell you which way to cross. So right ankle in front of left, let's forward fold here, get into that left side key band a little bit. Okay, uncross the ankle, sit into your chair. We've got that second side. And then it's all downhill from here in a good way. Exhale, fold. So again, ask yourself, what is of service to me? Do that little investigation and decide if you wanna skip your vinyasa, go right to downward dog, take a child's pose. So it's on you, you get to decide. Do that little journey, that investigation. Lift the left leg up, bend the knee, round it towards the nose. Step the foot in between the hands. Inhale, it's gonna bring us all the way up. Exhale, arms out. So left arm on top of right. Left arm on top of right. Softening into the left knee, drawing the belly in. And we're gonna wrap that right leg all the way around, coming into eagle. Squeeze through those inner thighs. Wait. If you're looking for more, maybe you're hooking the elbows, you decide. Don't worry if the right foot tucks behind, it may, it may not. Okay. 
And then set the right toes to the floor, unwrap the arms. We're coming into seated twist. Right legs on top this time. Left hand comes to the outside of the right knee. Right hand comes behind. Inhale, lift. Exhale, twist. You want the elbow here. Put the elbow here. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. And again, inhale, nice and tall. Lift the chest. Exhale, we're going to twist. Look over the back shoulder. Last one. Inhale. And exhale. Bring yourself back forward. Finding Navasana again. Good. So knees can be bent. If you've had enough Navasa, Ming, bring your heels down. That's okay too. Right? So you decide. We're here. We're here. If you want to add in the Arda, coming back up and down, up to you. Do your own investigation here. Who, what, where, why, and then how. How do I make that mindful choice? How do I quiet the noise long enough to see what's really happening? To understand what's really going on. So cross left ankle in front of right now. Walk the hands forward and come into that cross-legged forward fold with the left ankle on top, getting us into that right IT band. Actually, sorry, I said it wrong. The left IT band. And breathe here. Make sure the neck is not holding any tension. Good. Uncross your ankle. Sit back into your chair. One last time, Utkatasana. Exhale, we're going to forward fold. Investigate, determine what is of service to you. We're going to meet in our downward dog. Right leg is going to lift. Inhale. Bend the knee, round towards the nose, step to sit in between your hands. Drop your back knee all the way to the mat. Arms are going to reach up. And then hands are going to come to the heart. So left elbow once again, outside right knee. So we're really getting this twisting, this working through the abdominals in all these different ways. So here we are. I'm gonna flip around so you can see me a little bit better. Okay. So choices, right? Time to do our investigation. Who are the players? Am I letting my ego get the best of me right now? So if you want more, you're separating. If you still want more, you're wrapping that right arm underneath, around and left arm underneath. If you still want more, you're curling the back toes under, lifting the back knee. Good. Now, if you still want more, you're stepping the left, left foot up and lifting the right. So if you're not fully bound, you can do this as a twist. We're all going to meet up here. And we're gonna come ankle to knee, Utkatasana. So hands to the heart. I love this pose because it gets deep into the hip. It's like pigeon on steroids. So maybe your hands wanna come all the way to the floor. This left knee can be super bent. Doesn't matter, does not have to be straight. Now, if anybody feels really adventurous today, this is kind of putting all the pieces together. And that's grasshopper which I actually feel like is very apropos because there's all kinds of weird bugs coming around this patio, like moving leaves and all kinds of stuff. <laughs> so grasshopper feels appropriate, but it's not, if it's not for you, that's okay. This is an investigation. So stay here if you want. We're gonna meet in a forward fold. So if you wanna go back there, all good. If you feel like playing with the twist, you're gonna bring your right upper arm into the foot and stay here with the twist. And if you're doing grasshopper, you need all the pieces. So foot to upper arm, bend the elbows and come into it, right? Totally not necessary. 
We're meeting in a forward bend. Once again, anyone you'd like at the top of the mat. Got one last side to go. Breathe here. I don't know about you guys, but I'm walking it out to downward dog. If you want your vinyasa, you go for it. I'm gonna face this way. Okay. Left leg lifts, knee comes to the nose. Step the foot down, drop the back knee, float the arms up on the way. Right. We have lots of choices here. Right elbow outside, left knee, we stay. Separate if we want. Wrapping into a half or a full bind if we want. Just about the twist here. Maybe curling the back toes under, lifting the back knee if we want. few more breaths in this version. And then we cut, come to that final standing pose. So whether you're bound or not, this back foot is gonna step up to meet the front and that left knee is gonna lift. So hands on the knee or you're doing this bound. Arm comes behind, we find our twist. And then bring the ankle, left ankle to right thigh, sitting into that powerful Utkatasana. Hands can come down and we can stay here, right? We don't need to do anything more. When we investigate and we realize what drives us, what are our fears, what are our emotions we, around a certain moment, we have this freedom to affect the how, how it changes, what we want the outcome to be. So if you're playing with the twist here, you're gonna bring the left upper arm into that ball of the foot, hands to the heart. Here we are, twisted Utkatasana. Well, this isn't exactly that, but it's called, I forgot what it's called. <laughs> and then, from here, we might come into grasshopper. So if you are, you're gonna bend, come into those right toes, right elbow to hip, left arm stays into the foot. And here we go. Chaturanga arms, abdominals here are the key. We're meeting in the forward fold. Last one. So feel free to come right there as you fold. Surrender here. Let's find those elephant arms and swing from side to side. Swing everything. Shake everything out. And, and we're going to walk it back to downward dog. Right leg's going to lift. We're going to step the foot to the outside of the right hand. Drop your left knee. Let the right knee open. So I'm off the right foot here. Sits into the edge and shift everything around. If you want a little more in the twisting, you can walk the hands away from the foot and tense the fingers as you let the knee move away from your midline. And then bring the hands back. And walk the right foot across. Here we are, pigeon pose. So often when we get here, we have some investigating to do. Right? What's really going on? Sometimes we notice the mind wanders here. So bring yourself back into the where. Where am I? Am I present? I am this moment.
Good, and let's make our way back to downward dog. Shake out the right leg, shake it all out. And we're gonna do the second side. So left leg lift. We're gonna bend the knee, the left foot steps to the outside of your mat, outside of the left hand. Drop the right knee down. If you want to, you're coming into the pinky toe edge of that foot, letting that left knee move out and then maybe walking the arms over to the right and tensing into those fingers. And bring your hands back, walk the left foot all the way across towards your right wrist. Pigeon, second side. New investigation happening here. What am I holding on to? Is it present or is it past? What is the underlying emotion? Sometimes anger is actually fear. Often, in fact. What do I need to know? How do I make a different choice? All these questions that we get to ask ourselves. Our own little investigative reporting. We're going to press up into the hands and let's just swing the right leg around. Good. And then plant both feet. So we've done all this work in the abdominals. So we're going to do a little bit of back bending just to stretch it out now. So plant the feet, bring the hands behind you. Notice my fingers are pointing forward. Press into the feet. First one is tabletop. So as you inhale, lift the hips. Once again, we did this at the beginning of your class. Maybe drop the head if your neck feels okay with that. Make sure you're pressing into the feet. And then as you exhale, lower all the way down. Okay, second one. You can do this, or you can come a little deeper and work through your Purvotanasana. So this time, straight legs. As you lift up, the big toes are going to point towards each other and down towards the floor. So press into the hands, lift the hips. Notice my feet are pointing down and towards each other. And then again, with the head, you decide. Good. Lift those hips a little higher. Then we're going to lower everything down. Good. Bend the knees if they were straight. Plant the feet down. We're going to walk onto our back. And prepare for bridge pose. So as you press into the feet, this time we're going to lift the hips and maybe walk the arms underneath, see if they find an inner lace. Good. Focus on lengthening out through the abdominals now. After we did all of that strengthening today. Amy, just make sure your thighs are parallel. Good. Beautiful. Checking everyone out that I can see. <laughs> and then slowly lower it out down. And I'll offer you one more back bend of your choice. So it can be supported bridge, could be legs up if you want to do supported shoulder stand, whatever you want to do to finish your practice. Do a little bit of your own investigation here. Ask yourself those powerful questions. When we practice here, you get better. You learn how to do it out there. How to take that mindful, sacred pause. How to explore the wonderment of the why. And then begin to lower yourself or undo whatever you're doing. 
walk, bend your knees and plant your feet on the edges of your mat and then just sway your knees in and out towards each other. Just to release the lower back out. Beautiful, good job guys. As you begin to transition your way into your rest. So perhaps this time is going to draw you back to your intention for your practice today. Maybe that situation off the mat that could be served with a little bit of investigation. What is really happening? Who are the players? Is it you, present you, or is it past you? What are the emotions involved? Is it fear? Is it insecurity? What is it that is driving you to have the reaction that you're having? And then how do I make a different choice? Slowly begin to wiggle your fingers and your toes. And reach your arms all the way over your head. Stretch from your fingers to your toes. And then draw your knees into your chest. And slowly roll onto your right side. And just take a moment. Investigate how you feel. And then slowly make your way up to a comfortable seated position. And bring your hands to your heart and close your eyes. It does not take a lot of investigation for me to know how truly blessed I am to have such wonderful students. Thank you so much for the opportunity to guide you this morning or this afternoon, whatever time it is for you. And I wish you a wonderful day. Namaste.